Good morning, welcome back to the shop everyone. It's about halfway through January, another cold winter morning. Um, I, uh, I'm going to try to finish up the uh, checkerboard pattern on the bottom of the wings today. Uh, and it, it's not going to be, it, it's not going to be as long and drawn out um, as the first part was. So it was about six hours total time to get the first to get the first half of them painted on just because I had to get everything figured out first how I wanted to set it up. What I'm going to do with this one, there was, a, there was something you can't see uh, and I don't know if I brought it to your attention. The paint itself was trying to, when I was pulling the masking tape off, um, it, hadn't, it hadn't hardened all the way because you want to pull it off when it's still a little bit wet. But um, it seemed like it was trying to lift a little bit off and I don't know if it was the clear paint underneath it uh, and then the dual paint up on the top because what I did like I said I was I was shooting color master and then on top of color master I was putting dual I just wanted to try to stop the bleed under um, on my test piece you know everything everything worked out great so that you know I assumed that it was going to be uh, not an issue but here's the problem if you take this stuff and scrape it with your finger you can get that paint to pop so that I think is going to end up being an issue that I you know I didn't realize it so what I'm going to do with this I'm going to uh, with the hopes that it's the way this whole project's going uh, and it's and that's time that shows that that's something you don't know right away um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the dual on the top um, with the hope that everything's going to be good and I've got to use um, my uh, talcum powder. I'm going to put talcum powder on the on the checkerboard pattern that I already sprayed with the hopes of not lifting it. Um, and it's uh, you know this this it, it's the paint. It's I've been battling this freaking paint for you know six more than six weeks now. Um, and it was just it, bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. And the first one was I went with the wrong paint to start with. And it's just compounded itself. So, uh, so anyway, that's what I am going to do with the hopes that everything's going to work. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, just got to live with it however it turns out. Just as long as the plane flies nicely, that's all that matters. I just know that up on the top... Um, for the bursts, I won't be using that clear stuff. So it's a good thing that the problem showed up. It just unfortunately, the problem showed up um, later than I wanted it to. If it was something that showed up in my test piece, I wouldn't have done it. So, so anyway, that's about where it stands, and uh, we'll just we'll just take it from there and see what happens. So. I'll bring it back when I get everything prepped up and ready to uh, uh, to paint because I'll, I'll kind of show you how I progress through um, getting it set up with the hopes that the problem's not going to happen. I'm going to test. I'm going to test on my little test piece um, how, how the paint, how the the masking tape sits on top and pulls off, or if it wants to continue to lift off, I'll put a little bit more. I, I'm going to have to work with this one, but <clears throat> I'll bring you back in. Um, just to show you how things are hopefully progressing along nicely. So I'll bring it back in a bit. All right, so the bad news is, bad, bad news. Uh, even with the, uh, yeah, the, the masking tape tears it right off. But what I did was I came in and just to see, some of these are actually pretty good. They're holding tight. This one wasn't. And I don't know why, see this one was really bad. This one had a couple spots, this was fine. So I came off and hit it. This was the first one that I painted. The second one, which I'm hoping, I'm not gonna have the issue. This one, I wiped the whole thing down um, with, uh, I just get a feeling it's gonna, yeah, it's lifting. So anyway, um, I gotta figure out how I wanna work with this one. Because I, I tried to lift the paint off. Some of it wants to come off. Some of it doesn't. So I'm just going to be kind of stuck with this. 
you can see when you flick in with your finger sometimes you can get it to lift sometimes it just sticks so what I'll do is these will be resprayed again um, cleaned up I'm gonna come in I'm gonna cut this uh, masking tape set it up so that they're gonna be thin little strips so all this is gonna be it's just gonna be a small little gap maybe an eighth of an inch of tape on the edge with the hopes that nothing's gonna lift and I'm gonna make sure it's properly uh, attached to the to the or the original the orange painted surface and not heavy across here across where it's already been painted with the hopes that something's going to work um, because there's really unfortunately there's really not too much I can do with that now so it is on the bottom um, you know once again it's a mistake and we learn from mistakes so um, and the only mistake was I just didn't know how this stuff was going to work so anyway uh, let me let me get the thing uh, set up. I gotta cut strips of uh, masking paper, a little and masking paper, sure, and then uh, put the masking tape on it, and then start laying things up with the hopes that when I, after I get done spraying it, that I'm not gonna have too much in the way, too much in the way of issues. Um, yeah, so this plane, it's the evil pumpkin. Not fun. All right, here is how I am getting things taped up. I'm coming in to doing the old doing the old t-shirt trick again to try to get it down. I'm only touching down between here. I'm not pressing down on the black spots. You can see where there was a little bit. That was not me pushing down. That was just when I was setting the tape down, just like up here. Um, let me show you. What the first one came out like it came out acceptable um, this piece here I've got I've got to go ahead on the aileron I've got to repaint this and then repaint that but the rest of it looks pretty darn good and I didn't lift any other paint on it when I was taking off the uh, tape so for the way the plane looks in real life you guys can come here and lay hands on it you would say that that paint job is acceptable um, because you know the plane's got issues but it's gonna fly and it will fly well hopefully more than once <laughs> so anyway um, yeah that's that's where I'm at it's it's not it's not that big of a deal um, getting this taped and painted it's easier to tape it than it was uh, the first time I did it um, I just have to be a little more careful so, so anyway let me get this one sprayed up and then uh, I'll show you how well everything came up with that one. I won't be able to put the uh, repaint those little those two little squares until probably Sunday. Um, but at least if I get the wings done today because now we're already past now we're coming up on noon so it's I've already been involved in this for about three hours um, just because of the trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the uh, with the paint lifting. And it's really strange if I can show you. Let me let me bring you in. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but let's see if you can. What it did was where the paint lifted off, there's no gloss left. See if I can get this thing set up so you can kind of see the you can see the gloss. Here's the gloss paint, and where that paint lifted off, it there's it it's it like took the the top layer of paint off with it. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go look at the little pieces that were on the on the tape because I just threw the tape on the floor. Right, sorry about that. Let me get a couple pieces of tape and take a look at it. Got it. Got it. Alright, it's kind of hard to see. You can see where it popped in a couple spots. It popped the orange off too. What it did is, and it's really strange. I have no idea why it did what it did. Um, but the paint, the black paint that came off is shiny. So it took, so the clear that got sprayed on top of it, that's still bound to the black paint. Um, but for some reason, it didn't like sitting on top of the duel. So, and you know, once again, that's, 
I didn't talk to Krylon about this one. Um, that's why I just did the test piece, and of course, you know, the test piece was fine the first day, so it failed four days later. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get this thing, uh, I'll finish taping this one up, and then uh, mask it, and then uh, go ahead and uh, spray it. It's kind of a pain in the butt, I've got to put the masking tape down here first, then cut everything, and then take the aileron off finish taping everything else up then tape the aileron up so that's why it just takes a little bit longer masking everything on this um, it's what I had to do on had to do the first time I did it it's just a little more uh, intrinsic mask taping because I've got to deal with this gap on this one which I didn't have to do on the first one everything was separate from it so it made everything easier so this one I've got the split where right up in here in the very top of this is black and black here so so anyway that's the way it goes. So I'll bring it back when I get this one uh, all sprayed up and we'll see what happens. Alright, I'm back. It has been a fun day. Krylon, hope you're listening to this. You're garbage. You're stuffed garbage. You call, you call it dual super bond, it won't even stick to itself. When I masked to spray four days uh, sitting on top so it, it's dual super bond being sprayed on top of dual super bond it will not stick so if you go ahead so if you want a mask you just peel it off and the other beautiful thing everybody watching the video yeah it's another rant you remember how the uh, how the, the fun orange stuff lifted on the second coat that's what this does too four days that was sitting on there for four days and I sprayed another coat on top of it and it lifted and then the tape that I put on here to mask these off just lifted this so I gotta figure out what I want to do to walk away from this problem um, as much as I don't want to be back on the phone with Krylon I'm gonna have to try to find out because this here's how I knew it was gonna lift I got this one fixed I mean it's all done ready to go but you can see it lifted so, you know, what are you going to do? It's it's garbage. It's garbage product. you got to be ashamed of yourself. Um, so i got to figure out what I want to do uh, for paint. Something I'm going to trust. Because all i got to do is just finish off this mess. Uh, and I don't know how to do that yet. I I'm working on it. I'm using frog tape, which has the least amount of adhesion on it. And... I'm touching it to my uh, t-shirt so that way it's I'm taking some of the some of the adhesion off of it but it's still sticking and I'm not pulling the tape off quickly I'm taping it off very slowly because uh, I'm afraid it's going to tear the paint off and even going very very slowly um, so it's garbage uh, anybody in the uh, RC industry stay away from uh, from Krylon their color master stuff worked great I tried their new product and it's garbage so just coming from me garbage so so I want to see what uh, I want to see what can happen on this one because it's uh, it's this shouldn't happen not with not with the same company and the same product line yeah, this should never happen so anyway we'll see what uh, we'll see what they want to do or what they can do which I'm sure nothing but all right that's enough of this rant I'm officially done working down here for the day because sometimes you just have to get up and walk away. And this is one of those times you just want to get up and walk away. So, um, so once again, don't use Krylon. Uh, I go back to Rust-Oleum. If you guys have sprayed Rust-Oleum, it takes forever to dry, but you don't have this kind of problem with it. So, so anyway, it's enough of my rant. I'm gonna let this stuff sit, and I gotta figure out how I want to deal with it later on. Uh, I'm done working on it right now, so I'll uh, probably bring it back in next time I'm down here doing something, lighting the plane on fire. We'll see. All right. Good morning. Welcome back to the shop. It's been a fun, uh, been a fun couple of weeks here. Uh, didn't get much in the way of any work done uh, for for the last week uh, you can kind of tell I'm coming up just getting through the cold uh, plus I got shipped up to uh, Sockville Wisconsin for a couple days to work out of another store um, because they were shorthanded um, 
So anyway, seeing that I'm back here, uh, here's what here's here's where we're kind of at with the whole paint issue. Because you probably remember, that's I had to go. These were this was fixed, and you can see that it it, it lifted. Um, but you know, that's that's the one aileron. I'm calling that good enough because I'm done fighting with this stuff. Um, I haven't done anything with the bursts. I've got to finish. I've got to finish the mess on this. I've got to redo this, come in and then repaint these. Once again, I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I, I don't think I want to mess at all with the uh, with the lift on that. I think that might just stay the way it is. I just got to figure out how I want to come in uh, to tape this. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little. Do a little more testing. This is this was a it was a waiting period. It took about four days for Krylon to finally get back to me uh, uh, on what they think the issue was because it's their own product. And when your product is painted on top of your product and it doesn't stick, you got a problem with your product. All right, what I think the whole deal is. This is the part coming from me that I'm going to tell you what they said. I think it's because it's a paint primer in one. I think the solvents are so aggressive that that's what's causing the lifting. It's it's the paint attacking its own self and causing it to lift. So that's what I think it is. So as, as you remember when I put on a typical heavy coat, that was when it lifted. It's the multiple coats because it's attacking it but it's not attacking it so aggressively because it's just completely encapsulated in it. It's not attacking it so aggressively that it's allowing it to lift. What you're doing is with the with the fine coat, you're spraying it down there. It's sitting on time, penetrating a little bit, but then uh, when it starts to set up, you can touch it, you spray another coat on, it attacks that one a little bit and then it attacks. So that's why I didn't really have much in the way of an issue uh, with any lifting after that. So I think that's the way to paint it. now. Here's what Krylon, Krylon, this is what took a while to get an answer. The, the reason they think, because they told me that if you're going to put another coat of paint on top of an already existing coat of paint, they, they told me that I should probably have to wait about two weeks before I spray another coat. It needs to say that on the back of a can, Krylon, if that's what you really need. I really don't think that's the issue because this was almost four weeks and when I told them it was when I told the representative that uh, it was almost four weeks uh, they didn't know where to go with that so they don't know why it wouldn't adhere so I think the problem with the whole painting world is and I don't want to blame it on the EPA but because the EPA they all had to change formulations I don't know if that's the reason why, but I think what it came down to is they had to use, they had to start using different solvents in their paints. So what I'm going to try to do, I've got to build a whole other test panel. So that's going to be, I'm going to start putting it together today. I'll bring you guys back in, might do a little speedy up video, who knows, or I'll just piecemeal something together. It's going to be a bigger board. It's going to be, it's going to be a. a I'm just trying to find something to reference it to. It's going to be, let's do it with something like this. It's it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be a a test board about that big. So we're probably looking at about a foot by ten inches. Um, and I've got to put it together the same exact way that the, that, that, the uh, that the plane is done. So it's going to be fabric. It's going to be dope. It's going to have to go through all the stages. So I'm hoping tonight, because uh, I got to go run out of here for a few hours, but I'm hoping tonight I can have that board finished, ready to paint. Um, and then it's going to be about two days drying time, so I can start shooting coats on it on Friday, or excuse me, on Saturday. Um, so if I can shoot, I can probably shoot two to three coats on it in one day, because I'm going to spray it the way that I showed you how to do it where it's going to be it's going to be finer coats so I'm going to try to get three coats on it um, and then it's going to have to sit for a couple weeks that's going to be the problem I want to make sure that I'm giving myself 
minimum the same amount of time I've got what I had about four weeks in this so I wanted to sit for at least two weeks so I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to work around painting the rest of the black product um, to give it time to, to see if it'll work what I'm gonna do is a certain part of it that's why I'm making it bigger because I'm gonna be able to section it off I'm gonna come in with some good old-fashioned color master um, and I'll, I can come in and start shooting that on there probably give it 24 hours so probably uh, a week from today so if I can shoot some of this on there uh, on a week from today so follow so basically that'll give it uh, uh, Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so a little over four days of drying time um, which should be more than sufficient um, I'm going to shoot some Color Master on it. If Color Master sticks and doesn't lift, um, that's what I'm going to use for the rest of the black on it. Um, but the reason why, that's why I make a whole new test board. That way it gives me more option for testing. Um, because I, I honestly, I, I don't want to try Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum, if you guys go back and take a look at the video that I put together, and it wasn't it was a video montage of the uh, uh, the Haviland DH-71 Tiger Moth that uh, it was that gold and uh, it was like a dark brown plane, uh, single wing uh, plane from the 1920s. That I did with Rust-Oleum, and the problem with Rust-Oleum is the drying time. When you sprayed it, when I sprayed the first coat on the gold, it set up pretty quick. I was able to handle that probably in about three to four hours without fingerprints. And then you take it, you put it off to the side. You're gonna have to wait a week plus. Uh, when I did the brown uh, uh, on the top, the outside, all the tiger, all the tiger stripes, and everything on the wings, um, I had to leave it and let it sit here on the bench for five days before you could pick it up and move it. Because if you touch the if you touch the brown anywhere, you left fingerprints. So that just had to sit here for five days before I could pick it up and move it. Then I moved it, brought it upstairs so it could sit upstairs while I did other stuff down here. And um, it was almost three weeks before it lost where if you pushed, you wanted to push in on it, that you can compress it. And, and so that was, that's, even though Rust-Oleum is good and will last, it just takes forever to dry. So, and because it's cooler down here in the shop, I really don't think it would be a good idea because it's going to be the same thing. It might end up being weeks before I can, uh, you know, do anything at all with it. And so I'm hoping with uh, with the color master, if the color master works, uh, I will not be using uh, any other type of Krylon paint but the color master. So just as long as they still make that and it still works the same way and doesn't attack itself so aggressively as the uh, as the paint and primer because even the color master is a paint and primer um, but I think it's less aggressive uh, I'm hoping I really am it's paint and primer stuff is just nonsense it's they make paint now for lazy people I'm not lazy so anyway all right enough of this I will uh, I gotta go up and sweep some snow out of the way because I want to get the wing and the ailerons back upstairs just to get them out of here um, and then I'll come back down and then uh, I'll get some set up and see how much work I can get in there because I think I got about an hour before I got to get ready to leave. So I'll uh, see what I can do. I'll bring it back. Um, what I did was I, I, when I was over at the hardware store, I was looking for Krylon primer where it was just a primer and they had nothing there. Um, I could go with the Rust-Oleum primer, but Rust-Oleum takes forever and a day to dry. So, and they understood that. It's good paint. It just takes a long time to dry. And with it being cooler in here right now, you're not going to touch it for a couple weeks. So, uh, we went over and looked at their Ace brand. Uh, it's Ace Hardware. So, their Ace brand is made by the same company. Strange enough. Um, they have, they call it Premium Paint and Primer. This is just a primer so it's a it's a uh, I don't want to get this right uh, it's a an enamel primer they call it premium enamel primer 
So that is an enamel um, which won't attack the paint. It's, it won't attack this kind of paint. It, it, in theory, it shouldn't attack it because if it was lacquer based, it would eat this stuff for lunch. So, um, so whatever. I'll do. I'll do a little back. Uh, I'll do a little background on this. Um, anyway. Um, so anyway, here's what I did. I went in. I shot in a quick coat. This is that little teeny piece um, that I made. That's th where I showed failure right away. Um, and uh, I've already put two dust coats on it. And then this is going to be the final one with the black. And then I'll go ahead and start peeling stuff off. And the whole goal behind this is to just test to see how if this primer helps keep this attached. So let's go ahead and get this sprayed. So it's a full coat like that. And see that that's looking good. Uh, it's just a matter of um, I will wait probably. I'll start taking the covering off now the tape. Um, I suppose the quicker you get the tape off. I also I also did something different with the masking tape. Um, on this masking paper itself, I've got just a little teeny bit, uh, probably three sixteenths of an inch, um, and that's so that's the only part that's sticking to it. So I'm hoping that there's going to be less a chance of a problem with a smaller or a, a, excuse me with a smaller with a smaller footprint. All right, now everything should be a little less bouncy. Okay, we've got it all set up and it should be good to pull everything off. Okay, pretty good. It's doing something. It's still it's still wet. We'll wait to see what happens when it dries up. It's it's doing something where it almost seems like it's still trying to get underneath this other black paint. But this black paint is uh, sitting on top of that clear. Um, so I don't know. My main goal is to see how it sits on top of this, on top of the orange, uh, because this I'm not really. I'm going to have to do that to, to touch up a couple spots. We'll let this set up for a, uh, probably, probably till the next time I see you, Thursday. We'll let this set up till Thursday, and then I'm going to come out and, uh, or I might do it during the week um, before then. I want to see how well I can uh, scrape on it and hopefully keep that black paint down on there. Because then if that holds and everything works out nicely, so if this primer is making it work, I'll finish spraying everything off. All the black gets sprayed off on the plane uh, because I did. I was going to bring it down here and work on it today, the plane, and unfortunately it's still sitting upstairs and um, we're coming up on 5 o'clock now. So I just as soon not try to wrestle that thing uh, down here. I mean, at least the weather's nice today, but uh, I'm going to call it a day just because I just still... Still got that cold. Anyway.